What is up you guys, it is Demise45 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get on screen buttons on the Cherry Mobile Emerald. So as you guys can see here, not only do I have buttons here at the bottom as part of the hardware, I also have buttons on the software as itself. So this square button is for the overview to see all your running apps and this circle is for home and the triangle here is for back. So yeah, that's that. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this on your Cherry Mobile Emerald. Okay, so before you do this, you will need to make sure that your Android device is rooted. I just did a video recently as of the date of this video on how to root the Cherry Mobile Emerald. So if you guys want to see that video, feel free to check the link in the video description below to watch that video. Go ahead and follow the procedure there. And then come back to this video when you're done. And also before you do this, you will also need an app called Exposed Installer installed on your Android device. So for that app to install on your Android device, you will also need a file manager. You can use the stock file manager if you want, a browser of your choosing. You can use whatever browser you want. And you're going to need to make sure that unknown sources is checked in your settings. So to do that, go into your settings. Then scroll all the way down to security and then make sure that unknown sources is checked. If it isn't, make sure it is. Then tap OK and then you're good to go. Then once you've done that, go ahead and go to the link that I left in the video description below to download the APK file for this app itself. Then once you're done downloading it, uh, when you first open up the link, you are going to need to open it in any browser you want. Then tap the green download icon to download it. Then once it does finish downloading, go into your file manager. And if you get an interface like this, just go to your SD card because that's usually where your files are downloaded. Then scroll all the way down to download or downloads. Then tap the APK file itself. Then tap install, wait for it to finish installing. Then once it finishes installing, tap open. And if this is your first time opening it up, you will need to update its framework. So to do that, go to framework. Then tap install slash update. And if this is your first time, you know, updating to this framework, you will need to grant it root permission. So make sure you tap allow when the prompt pops up. Then once you do allow it root permissions, it will ask you to, if you want to reboot your Android device, just tap OK. Then wait for your Android device to finish rebooting. Then once it does finish rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it. Then go back into this app. Then go to where it says download. Then tap the refresh button at the top if you don't see anything here then tap the search icon at the top then go ahead and type in gravity gravity sorry gravity box that's one word space kk now depending on what android version you're running whether it's jelly bean or kitkat make sure you go into your settings then to about phone to check what android version you're running because there are two versions of this module there's one for jelly bean which stands for jb and there's one for kitkat which stands for kk so download the version that you're running and then once you finish downloading it go ahead and go into your modules then make sure the module called gravity box kk or jb is checked then once you make sure it's checked go back then go into framework and then tap soft reboot and wait for your android device to finish rebooting then once it does finish rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then go into your app drawer and find the app called gravity box kk or jb then go to where it says navigation bar tweaks then make sure this master switch is on then tap enable navigation bar and if you want you can make it use the lollipop icons of the navigation bar if you want then once it does then once you're finished here 
go ahead and reboot your Android device by pressing and holding on the power button then tapping reboot and then tapping OK depending if you don't have any other tweaks installed you might be allowed to do a soft reboot or a regular reboot so make sure you do that then once you've done that and you're back about your lock screen that's pretty much it and from there you should have the new Android buttons I mean on screen buttons here on your Android device and from there guys that's it that's how to get on screen buttons on the Cherry Mobile Emerald for the most part it works it's still fine it's still okay it does what it needs to do and it works just fine I can use it to open up my overview quickly I can get to the home much quicker now and overall it's just fine I haven't noticed any bugs with it so do not worry guys this module should be working just fine for you guys there are plenty of other things you can do on this so be sure you check inside the setting the app itself to edit more tweaks for this but either way guys that's it that is how to get on screen buttons on the cherry mobile emerald now if you guys like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out and if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this module whatsoever feel free to let me know in the comment section below and while you're at it feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel because I got tons more content coming your way I release a new video every Saturday and Sunday and thank you guys for watching I hope you guys will like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter follow me on Instagram I left all those links in the video description below once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video this is Numaisa45 signing off.